Uh, here are the other text messages. If funds are low, there is a reservoir. <laughs> That's tough. Uh, <laughs> thumbs down emoji to NCAA rules. <laughs> How are you going to get away with that? <laughs> I love that they looked at these text messages and there was a thumbs down <laughs> emoji to the NCAA rules. Um, it said the recruiting, uh, it said on uh, uh, November 11th, 2020, Boone, the assistant recruiting director, shared a CBS Sports article, there you go, with Felton with the headline, recruiting dead period will be extended to April 15th, keeping coaches away from recruits for over a year. And so he sent that article with thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here, here are the better text messages. It's all going to be secretive now. <laughs> Except they get your text messages. Yeah. We all know what we're doing. So that was a good one. Um, we've got, where are the other ones? This stuff is too messy, sketchy, and illegal. <laughs> <laughs> it says one recruit bought, uh, brought 11 people with him to the Storming Crab. Another recruit at a party of seven at Scrambled Jake's Breakfast Company. And this was the this is the this is the text. This stuff is too messy, sketchy, illegal to leave details like who is coming out. Like, can we be efficient as if we don't have a full head count? This is getting hella ghetto. <laughs> Only our coaches get people to come visit, and we don't even know who's coming. God. <laughs> How about this one? Ease your way into being an asshole. We can't ever have a smooth weekend, Boone said. Like, bro, you good and a hell of a player, but ease your way into being an asshole. Not the first visit. <laughs> oh my These God. little MFs are expensive. <laughs> I mean, these text messages are off the meter. Amazing. So it says, uh, man, these little MFs are expensive. I don't know why you're surprised, Boone replied. That weekend, Pruitt's staff provided $2,400 in impermissible inducements to two recruits, their families, and their uh, coaches. And it said... Uh, then Boone lamented that one of the recruits may be squeezing every dollar out of Tennessee while planning instead to commit to Georgia. Hell, he may F... Or, he, they say the F word in this article. May F around and run us up and then go to Georgia. <laughs> I mean, th these are the most obvious ones. How about this one? Do you like this one? I feel a call from compliance. <laughs> <laughs> well, like... Here's 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 the way that like these guys sound I like not smart. Coming. The idea that these text messages even exist is just not smart. All here, right, here, Boone. Who did we say Boone is? Boone is the, is he the recruiting director? I think he is the recruiting director. Don't let me get this wrong. It says who is Boone? Because he's in all of these. He is wild. Assistant director, uh, recruit. He's the assistant recruiting director. Chantrice Boone, he is hilarious in these, okay? So that one, after the illegal sketch, he says, uh, this is about the compliance, he said, uh, Boone sent a text message to Gunn, who's the other recruiting person, and said, they out here <laughs> spying. <laughs> it sounds like a warning, but the context isn't clear. But Gunn replied, I feel a call from compliance. Okay, so then you say, look, it's not what it seems, whatever. And then you get to the next text message, What's your Venmo? <laughs> <laughs> and then it said, uh, then we've had another one that's like a sugar daddy that launders money. I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable, bro. I, I don't understand how you could text message all this stuff. Like, this is like basic, uh, like, if you're going to be operating like this, you can't put it in text messages or emails or any of that stuff. There's always a record, always. And uh, Jeremy Pruitt's involved in all of them. Yeah, no. Evidently, his wife didn't get hit with any of this, but his wife had been in the compliance office at like three different schools <laughs> yeah. before, so he's literally married to a compliance officer. Um, and like, it's all like, 
Yeah, Pruitt's up to speed. Yeah, Pruitt's got this whole thing set up. I told you, Pruitt's got it set up. You know, I mean, there's 6,000 of these. Well, what, what's, what's interesting, what you learn in these situations sometimes is, is how rampant the cheating was. It's just the stupid cheaters get caught because, like, just focus on what was said there. We're paying this guy. You, you know, he's running us up, and, but we still might lose him to Georgia. Well, then what's going on in Georgia? All right? The, how about, like, on the basketball side, true. if you remember – like, Curtis Townsend, who is assistant coach at Kansas, is on a wiretap, allegedly. We never heard it, mm -hmm. but according to the reporting, Curtis Townsend is on a wiretap. A person from Adidas calls him and says, hey, Zion's stepdad, he's looking for a house, he's looking for this, he's like, you know. And Curtis is like, well, uh, you know, we'll do what we got to do. Like, fine, let's, let's make it happen. Right. And then he goes to Duke. Yep. So we know that a blue blood program like Kansas was willing to buy Zion Williamson. Yep. And then he went to Duke. Yep. So what's going on there? So what's going on there? Yeah, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. This guy that's got all the funny text in here, Chantrice uh, Shantri Shantri Boone, he got a 10-year show cost. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is like, you will never be a part of this again. So I I've got to ask you about this, Gary, I, j because I just love, what's your Venmo? Right. <laughs> Let's cut right to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cut right to it. Hit me with your catch app. Dude, so... Jeremy P Jeremy Pruitt got six years, right? Mm -hmm. He got a six-year show cause. Um, he got a six-year show cause. That means the university cannot hire a coach or a recruiter without being subjected to penalties during the length of the ban unless given NCAA approval. And then all of these people that are in the text messages, all of them got the, – the lowest was three, who was a student assistant – and he's just included on the text. And then the highest was that assistant recruiting director, which was 10. The recruiting director, Bethany Gunn, she got five years. I mean, they all got – I guess, no, the lowest was two. There was an assistant coach that got a two-year show cause. But you have covered guys that get these before. That, that show cause, like, you're just going to have to go – like, you're going to have to go Junior coach college, in the pros, right? Junior college, or, G uh, well, like, in basketball, um, you know, that's how Stu Forbes ended up at – Northwest Florida State. Right. You know, he had, he had like a two-year show calls. Yeah. And then um, when that expired, Greg Marshall hired him at Wichita State. And then he got the East Tennessee State job. And now he's at Wake Forest, head coach. But, like, yeah, he had to go to junior college. But you can't get out of it. Mm -mm. I mean, it, I mean, it, there's a bit of a misconception. Jeremy Pruitt can't go be a defensive coordinator somewhere is what I'm saying. Well, like, right. it's, a, again, a little bit of a misconception. People think if you have a show cause, the school can't hire you. They can they just subject themselves to punishment if they do. So schools can hire people with show cause. They